It's hard to explain to somebody what it's like to live on the street if they never lived on the street. Most of the people out on the streets either have mental illness or they have an addiction. I just went over the edge. Ended up getting heavy into some drugs, and I lost my job. I became homeless. I was constantly heat exhaustion, alcohol poisoning. Like, I can literally say I was dying. Somehow, my parents got a hold of Kay, and that's what opened up the door for me to become sober. I met Yvonne, and she was homeless on the street, came to Friendship House, and things began to change in her life. Baptist Friendship House is a ministry center to folks that are impoverished, to folks that are unhoused, and to human trafficking survivors. We're able to provide them a meal. We're also able to meet those basic physical needs that, that others may have. It opens the door to minister to the spiritual needs so that a life-changing relationship can begin with Jesus Christ. We have a creative arts time, and usually that's pottery. They'll begin to open up and start sharing things during that time. When you sit there and you have the clay in your hand, you know what you're going to be doing with it and what's going to become of it. But the clay doesn't know what it's going to have to go through to get to it. Sometimes our lives are broken, and we're like just a big old lump of clay. And so lives can be molded and shaped by Jesus to be able to accomplish his perfect will. I have never seen a life change like Yvonne's. And it's just been amazing to watch God work in her life and then see how he's using her now in our ministry. I never would have thought that I would be where I am today because I had no hope. This place saved my life. When you give to Annie Armstrong, you help to make my ministry possible. Jesus never gives up on you. And so we should never give up on anybody else.